So what we're going to do is we're just going to show you how to do implicit differentiation. And the key thing here is that I know that you can already differentiate x squared. x squared automatically becomes 2x. Okay? Not a problem. All right? Now, y cubed, how do you differentiate y cubed? 3y squared. There's a bit more, though, because remember, we're differentiating with respect to x. So we're going to write this. This is a, this, Just get used to this for a little while. and Just trust me for a moment, really, please. So 3y squared. Nobody had a problem with that. And then we write dy by dx. So whenever you differentiate x with respect to x, you just do it. Whenever you differentiate y with respect to x, you just differentiate it like normal and put dy by dx after it. Okay, so that's all you've got to do. There's a sneaky trick coming. Here is a product rule. There are two different functions, an x and a y squared. So over here now, I'm just going to come, up, come over to this side. Um, let's put it down here. So I've got, how do I differentiate x, y squared? And so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to say f is x, g is y squared. Okay, so therefore f dashed is 1 and g dashed is 2y. No, it's 2y dy by dx. You must remember that. Okay, whenever you differentiate x, you just get on with it. Whenever you differentiate y, you must put dy by dx to compensate for that. That's, that's where it comes from. Is that making sense? So now, f dashed g plus g dashed f, okay, which is your product rule, okay, is going to be, so f dashed is 1, g is y squared, isn't it? So that's just going to leave me with a y squared. And g dashed f is going to give me 2xy dy by dx. And there's a nice big plus in the middle. Okay? Have I lost anybody? Let's just check I've got that right. F dashed G Y squared. G dashed F. That lot times by X. So I just put the X in there. Okay? If I'm losing you, you need to tell me that. But hopefully I'm not. Which now tells me, going back up to here, so I did X squared got 2X. I did Y cubed got 3Y squared dy by dx. And now I've got a plus a y squared plus, just down the bottom there, I've got this thing down the bottom, plus 2xy dy by dx equals 0. Because differentiation of 4 is 0. Okay, is everybody okay with that? So now all we're going to do is we're going to tidy that whole lot up. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see what. Okay, watching this on the video, it's obviously quite big anyway. And so now what I'm going to do is put all the dy's and the dx's together. So I'm just going to come right down to the bottom of the page because I've done my classic bit. I filled up my space. Okay, if you're a teacher trainer watching this, yes, I know I got it wrong. All right, so um, 3y squared dy by dx plus 2xy dy by dx equals negative 2x take away y squared. Now whenever you're doing these, I actually think it's a really good idea. When you first see the question x squared plus y squared equals x, please differentiate that, to remember that what you're really after is dy by dx equals that's what you're trying to achieve, isn't it? Okay? And so if we come down here, you can now see why I've done this. Because I've now got all the dy dealt by the x's on one side, or everything else on the other side. Now I'm going to factorise just using dy by dx. So dy by dx times by 3y squared plus 2xy equals negative 2x plus y squared. I just, you didn't have to do that bit in the brackets, but I do it because I like it because it's neat. 
And now I hope you can see that all I'm now going to do is divide by this. So I'm now left with dy by dx equals negative 2x plus y squared. Remember to put that in brackets. Divided by 3y squared plus 2xy. There's a huge temptation to simplify that. Don't. That is the right answer. Okay? That is how you do implicit differentiation. Please watch it as many times as you need.